Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another m record to play for you. Today's record is Lesson From Afar. So let's get started. Lesson From Afar. A merchant kept a parrot named Ratuki in a cage. The merchant was going to Pakistan, the country from which the bird had come originally, and he asked it if there was something he could bring back. Uh, well, right then, I'm going to Pakistan, and uh, I thought I might bring you back something, a little gift to make oh. you feel like home again. Oh, lovely. Uh, uh, maybe I could bring you uh, some fruit, special fruit in Pakistan. Uh, no. Uh, no. no, no, I don't think not so. Fruit. I don't really like fruit, you don't know. Don't fancy it, I Parrots don't no. eat a lot of fruit. Why? Well, you know I that. Think, you know, always a special uh, delicacy, perhaps. Well, what about uh, uh, a branch from uh, your favorite kind of tree? Branch? How would you like somebody to bring you back a branch? Well, I don't Why perch. Don't perch. Perch. Oh, perch? Oh, yes, wonderful. Wonderful. No, I don't no. want a perch. No branch. No, I don't um, want a perch. What about uh, some seeds? They got real nice seeds in Pakistan, your favorite kind. What kind are those? You know, the, the kind that go crunch, crunch on your chin. Oh, those ones. Oh, health food. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't think so, no. I'd much prefer something else. Something else? Yes, if I could ask for it. Well, I mean, what? if you really want to give me a present. Whatever you like. I mean, Whatever do you like, I like anything at all? Just yeah. name it. You name it. You heard that, children? Right, whatever I like, okay. I want my freedom. Your freedom? I want my freedom. I'm tired of being caged up here. Cool, your freedom, is it? What's his freedom? Anything he likes, he says, I want more freedom. Now, you can't have your freedom. You're oh. mine. You belong to me. You said I could have anything I wanted. Anything but your freedom. Thank you. Ask again. Thanks a lot. Oh, let me think. Oh, uh, I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, what is it? I got it. Spit it out. Um, when you're in Pakistan, uh, you know, uh, that jungle, the Narugi jungle? The Narugi jungle, yes. Yeah. That's where well, I got you. Yeah. Second one on the left as you, as you come in. That's right, customs. yes. Right, right. Oh, call out in the Narugi jungle out loud. That Ratuki the parrot is your captive. That I've caught you and I've got you in a cage. That's right, right. that's right. And just do that. Just tell this to the birds who still fly free in that jungle. I just shut it out. Well, that's all I want. Just Ratuki to the parrot is my captive. Like that's that. It. Yes, please. All, all right. right, that's easy enough. I'll be glad to do it. Thank you very much. Now, you be good now. <laughs> The merchant went to Pakistan and did as the parrot had told him. No sooner had he called out his words when a wild parrot, just like his own, fell out of a tree onto the jungle. <coughs> then the merchant thought that the fallen bird must be a relative or friend of his own bird, and he felt bad that he should have caused its death. When he returned home, Ratuki, the parrot, asked him whether he brought any news from any the Naruga news? jungle. Any news from the Naruga? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Brace yourself. What? what? My, my news is bad. Oh, no. Yes. What happened? But there's good news first. First, the good news. Oh, I'm I'm this. back safely. Oh, that's Second, good news? the bad news. One of your relatives fell at my feet when I spoke of your captivity. Oh, uh, no. Which one? Was it Uncle Odie? I don't know. It was just a parrot. It looked like you. They all look alike to me. But he fell down dead at my feet. I'm sorry. That's all there is to it. Nothing else happened. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Steady. I don't know what You look pale. Uh, You're losing your colors. Uh, uh, Ratuki suddenly collapsed and tumbled to the bottom of its cage. Oh, no. The news of his relative's death has killed him. How close these birds are to one another. Poor Harry. Sadly, he picked up the parrot and put its body on the windowsill. 
All at once, the parrot jumped up and flew out the window to a tree in the merchant's backyard. It made sure it was far enough away not to be caught, but close enough for the merchant to hear its words. Oh, now you see that what you thought was bad news was really good news for me. <laughs> free at last. I'm free. My relatives told me through what had happened to you over there just how to behave in order to free myself. They gave me the idea. <laughs> so I just pretended to be dead. Fooled you. Fooled you. Fooled you. <laughs> oh, With that, away it flew, joyful and free, all the way back to its home in the Narugi jungle. So that was a lesson from afar. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.